What's going on, Leo? It's your girl, D with 8th House Energy here to bring you your weekly reading. This is going to be from Sunday, January 19th through Saturday, January 25th. Uh, I hope you uh, guys are uh, enjoying the last moments of Capricorn season and getting ready for Aquarius season, which is going to be starting January 20th. All right, so that's this Monday. All right, we're on to the new things, on to... Uh, Dealing more so with uh, associates, like-minded people. Uh, people are going to be looking to... This is going to be a time where people are connecting, making friendships, establishing relationships uh, through group organizations. Uh, people working together for a common goal. So you're going to see, uh, see that there's a lot of energy like that going on. So for those of you who are interested in connecting with more like-minded people, with the new moon in... Uh, the new moon in Aquarius on January 26th, you can set your intentions to connect with more like-minded people. You just want to use the energies of the uh, of the moon uh, based on the energies of the sign that we're in. And um, so, for example, you know, Aquarius is all about like-mindedness, you know, connecting with people on a social level who are similar to you, have similar ideas, things like that. So... For those of you who are looking to expand, you know, your connections, okay, with people who are more like-minded or for people for professional organizations or what have you, you know, just looking for more like-minded spirits, you can put that intention out there um, on the new moon, okay, and you can write that down and then take it outside at late at night, you know, and just recite it and then burn it, okay, but, um, yeah, set your intentions if that's what you want to do based on the benefits of the moon, whatever the moon's bringing you, all right? Um, so, let's see what we got for you. This is a general read. Everything may not resonate. Please take what does. Leave the rest. If you need a personal reading, my information is in the box below. There is not going to be an extended for this reading. Um, so, uh, if you want to participate in the Patreon uh, contest... Uh, the link is down below. It's $5 a month to join. There's going to be a drawing for six lucky winners on January 31st. They're going to get a free reading. So if you're interested in participating in that, you can look at the uh, community section. I have all the information listed there. Or you can, um, if you're comfortable moving forward, just uh, click on the link below for the Patreon site. Uh, I love you guys. I appreciate all your support. Let's see what information we got for you, Leo. Now, the overall energy... Let's just talk about that here. Nine of Swords energy. So somebody could be, you know, um, in their head about something, thinking some, thinking about a lot, you know. It could be one particular thing that they're thinking about, but this could represent a lot of other things going on. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that you're stressed out, but it could just mean anxiety. It could just mean that this is the a primary thing that's on your mind and maybe has been for a while. Uh, for some of you, you could be focusing, this could be keeping you up at night, you know, this could, you could be dreaming about this. It just depends on what's going on for each individual. But let's see the situation at hand. We have the Four of Cups. Okay, so with the Four of Cups here, this is representing feeling unfulfilled. Someone's not happy in a situation that they're in. Someone is feeling as if maybe they're being taken advantage of, they're not being appreciated. Um... Their feelings or, or, or their situation is not being taken into consideration. They're not being taken into consideration. Um, that's what I'm getting strongly. Now, that's Scorpio energy, okay? And um, the uh, situation that's challenging this is the Queen of Swords, okay? This is Libra energy. With the Queen of Swords here as the challenge for this situation, maybe you're not looking at things realistically, perhaps, Maybe you're not accepting the truth in things, or maybe you're starting to understand that, you know, you're feeling unfulfilled. Or maybe you're not accepting the fact that, you, you know, this is something that you could do something about. Unfulfilled, this could be um, surprise gifts as well with this Four of Cups. But the challenge would be the Queen of Swords. Hmm. Maybe accepting the truth in the matter that you're feeling unfulfilled. For some of you, this could be a career. 
you're feeling unfulfilled about. This could be a love situation. Okay, this could have been a business partnership or a business plan with someone, uh, um, you know, that you are related to or someone you love. And um, maybe you're looking at the legalities of things and that's what's holding things up. Maybe some of you are interested in purchasing a large gift, but the legalities of things could be uh, an issue. Let's see what the uh, the universe wants you to look at or keep in mind. We have the Knight of Wands. So this could represent travel. This could represent, you know, someone very anxious to move very quick, want to, want to move quickly. Okay, someone's unfulfilled. And they're accepting that as the reality of things. And so they want to move quickly about it. They want to do something about it right away is what I'm getting. Now your head, where your head is at, we have the eight of wands reversed. So there could be some delays. Maybe that's why you're not able to do anything about it. Or maybe you attempted to do something about it. And as a result, there's a delay. Okay. Maybe you're not letting anybody know. What your concern is, maybe you're wanting to move and you're not letting people know you may want to move. You're keeping it to yourself. or And or there could be some delays in moving because the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands do represent cards of someone relocating or possibly moving. Okay, Maybe some of you are waiting on some legal documentation in order for you to move. Okay, and you haven't gotten a message of it yet with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Could be made, waiting on a decision. And then the outcome here I have is the Page of Coins. Okay, so Page Energy is messages. So maybe some of you getting messages of money coming in. Um, maybe you're waiting on a message of money to come in. Maybe some of you are getting offered financial assistance. Um, there could be a job. Maybe that's what it is. Some of you are trying to relocate for a position. Um, but you haven't heard anything back. Yeah, for some of you, you could be, um, you could have applied for a position, you know. Um, you haven't heard anything back yet with the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Four of Cups here. And so, um, you know, you're hoping to hear something quickly because for some of you, you want to relocate. And so, until you hear something, it's going to cause delays in you relocating. All right, and you're just waiting on a deciding factor. That's what I'm getting for some of you. Um, but yeah, oops. But yeah, this is definitely what's on your mind here. Okay. Is you getting it that uh quickly. Quickly is what I'm getting here. You want things done mañana. I don't think that's a word. Um, <laughs> you want things done yesterday. Let's clarify the four of cups. Why is the four of cups here? Alright, so we have the three of wands reverse. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So for some of you with this Four of Cups, you're feeling unfulfilled. This is definitely a job situation for you. With the Three of Wands reversed here and the Queen of Pentacles, you have a great job. You make great money. Some of you are high exec um, management, um, but it's unfulfilling for you. You don't see um, you don't see any growth or potential. You don't see your ships coming in with this position. So that's why some of you are feeling unfulfilled. So that's what the Four of Cups is for some of you. Uh, we have the Seven of Swords reversed, the Four of Wands reversed. For some of you, you're feeling unfulfilled in a relationship. Um, there's no stability here. Okay, there could be a relationship, um, a romantic relationship. This is, well, Four of Wands reminds me of home, so stability. So, yeah, um, you, you, maybe your partner, um, there was something going on with you and your partner with the Seven of Swords in reverse energy. You caught your partner doing something, okay? Maybe they had someone in the home or maybe, they, you know, something is not stable. Something is not right. It caused upheaval, upheaval in, the, in the home and somebody wants to relocate and move, all right? I have a Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, definitely somebody's ending things and ready to, um, there's no love here. So something really severe happened with this Four of Wands energy. This is Aries energy. Okay, so something um, out of the blue, spontaneous, um, somebody, it was like somebody got caught. 
All right, let's see what this Queen of Swords energy is here, because this is what is um, challenging the situation. Maybe it's accepting the truth. Maybe it's waiting on documentation. Let's see. So we have the Emperor in reverse. And we have the Death card. Okay, so Emperor in reverse. Yeah, there's definitely, to me, there's some legalities going on here, um, which is what's holding up uh, you moving forward. Some of you may have um, businesses or business partners that you would have to um, work things out with uh, so that you're able to move. So some of you are dissolving things. This could be um, a marriage here where you're, uh, the court is helping you to dissolve businesses or other assets that you may own with this person. And with the death card here, yeah, it's because things are ending. All right. We have the six of swords and the six of pentacles reversed. Okay. With the six of swords, yet yeah, again, I'm getting the energy of someone wanting to relocate, wanting to move because the situation is not a fair one or balanced financially. Or this could just represent that this person is dealing with more than one person. One of the partners could be dealing with more more than one person. This could be some shady dealings. If this is a business with the emperor in reverse, this could some, be someone who's not treating people, people fairly on the job. If this is a job situation and you're ready to leave, your boss could be very immature. Um, they could be uh, just unfair. Okay, your boss could have gotten fired for some of you. And now you're trying to decide what you want to do or your boss, um, you know, maybe didn't give you a promotion. So I have the eight of cups here. So someone is deciding to walk away and we have the seven of cups here. Someone is looking at their options. All right. So seven to eight, you know, here with the 15 cups. All right. Um, so, yeah, someone is looking at their options. They're deciding what it is that they're going to do. All right. So let's take a look at this Knight of Wands. This is what the universe wants you to keep in mind. And this is like um, energy of, of, of relocating, moving, quick, fast moving. Let's see. We have the Nine of Cups reversed and the Justice card reversed. So with the Nine of Cups reversed, this is... Um, um, hmm. Yeah, I'm getting that somebody wants to be single. And they want this divorce proceeding for some of them. This is this is a divorce with the Queen of Swords. We just talked about that. For some of them, you just want this process to end. You want it to move quickly with the Knight of Wands energy. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. And the uh, Princess of Swords. So this is the Prince of Swords. All right, so... Um, yeah, somebody is just... Um, you know, looking at their financial situation, um, they realize they may not have um, as much as they want. Um, but this is somebody who is, um, you know, just keeping an eye out on things. Maybe they're not being open to anyone in reference to what they're going on, what's going on. They're not speaking to anyone with the page of swords about it. You know, they're not letting anybody know what money they're asking for. You know, they're keeping that to themselves. OK, now for some of you, we have. Nine of Swords and Judgment in Reverse. So for some of you, you're worried about the decision. You're worried about, you know, things not going in your favor. That's where your Nine of Swords energy is coming from because we got this twice in the reading. So, yeah, some of you are afraid of this decision, okay, that you may not get what you need. Now, the Eight of Wands in reverse is where your head is at. So you're just waiting, I guess. Waiting, still still debating. Not waiting or debating, but you're still waiting on a decision for some of you. So we have the Knight of Wands. I'm sorry, the King of Wands in reverse. And then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So this could represent the couple. Um, this could be someone who is with the King of Wands in reverse. He could represent someone who... Um, it's very promiscu promiscuous, um, maybe messing with other people, messing more, with more than one person here, um, could have more than one family um, elsewhere here, um, or dealing with someone and have a family somewhere else outside of the family he deals with. This is someone who could have kids by other people, 
Um, but the Queen of Cups energy in reverse, this represents somebody who might have been um, naive emotionally, um, may have jumped into a relationship too soon without, you know, uh, really confirming if this was a love situation. This could have been someone who was desperate for love, and this is why they jumped into this. Um, this was, it looks like it's a one night stand here with someone who was um, taken advantage of emotionally. But you guys are not communicating, is what I'm getting for some of you. And then we have the Knight of Swords reversed and the Nine of Wands. So this could represent people not being honest, um, not, you know, the communication. It's very choppy, spotty at best. Um, you know, just letting the courts, you know, take care of things is what I'm seeing here. So the communication is only coming from the courts. For some of you, I have the Hierophant. I'm sorry, the Hanged Man. And the um, Three of Pentacles reversed. So some of you, you're just waiting. You know, you're just waiting to confirm that, you know, you're out of this third party situation. You're just waiting to confirm, you know, how the assets are going to be split up. Okay, just waiting on word. Now, the page of coins is the um, outcome here. So there is um, some um, hope or some talk of a financial resolution here. So we have the high priestess in reverse. This is Piscean energy. And we have the lover's card in reverse. So for some of you, you're making a choice here, all right, and you're, you're, um, you're, you're talking to your higher self in reference to the choice that you're going to make, okay? Some of you have a choice between two lovers. Um, some of you have a choice in reference to um, relocating um, and, and taking a job elsewhere. Let's see what else we got here. So we have the uh, Six of Cups reverse. Eight of Swords, Six of Cups reverse. You're just reminiscing about the situation, looking back at it. Um, maybe, you know, feeling more so of, damn, you know, I don't understand how things went this way. You know, maybe you had some expectations that were a bit unrealistic. Um, yeah, because with the Eight of Swords here, this is telling me that you were you were avoiding... you. Things were available to you if you would have been paying attention, but because you did not want to see it, you wanted to see it the way you wanted it to be. There are things that happen that you, you know, let go of or that you let go. You know, you saw them in any other situation. Had you not been so um, invested, you may have hesitated. We have the sun card here, which is beautiful energy. And we have the Hierophant in reverse. So some of you, you know, that divorce is coming. That's what's going to make some of you happy. Okay. And things are going to, you're going to have success with the divorce is what I'm getting for a lot of you here. All right, Leo, um, this is your card. That's for sure. So let's get you some, um, let's get you some advice from spirit and see what advice we can, uh, get you. Okay. So let's see, Leo. Leo. Leo, we have the magician and the mirror. Number 53. Now, 5 plus 3 is 8. The number 8 major arcana is the strength card. That is your energy, Leo. All right, so let's see what the message is. So here we go. So it says, this card upright represents the culmination of your personal and spiritual power at this time. In the magician's left hand is the flame of passion and action. In his right hand is a vortex of water and the light of reflection. The highly beneficial card is, this highly beneficial card is telling you that you are the magician. And within your grasp are the amazing forces of earth and spirit. The water is the energy of yin, the power of spirit and clarity of thought. The flame is the energy of yang, bringing direction and creativity. Together, they give you the magnificent magic of transformation. The mirror stands beside the magician, reflecting the outer 
world's response to your choice to use or dismiss the true power that you have. Its silver reflection reveals the future in a mist on a horizon, ready to be magically formed. When you receive the magician upright, you are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. You are the alchemist of your life, and just as the alchemist turns base metals into gold, you are now able to transform your difficulties into great blessings. This is true in every area of your life. Claim your power and embrace your intentions in your heart and in your daily life. Direct your destiny and the mists of the future will clear into brilliant reality. Wow, this was an amazing message. So Spirit is saying here that you can carve out any direction that you want and you will be sex excuse me you will be successful okay you got the sun car here you got your energy so that's a beautiful message of of confirmation here especially with this energy going on you're a bit nervous you're not sure how things are going to turn out all right so that's that's good energy here so let's see what other messages we can get you all right so what do we got for leo Okay, so we got horse spirit. Freedom is yours. How fitting is that, Leo? All right, and we have master number 33. Um, when I get master numbers, I do not break them down. Um, I would recommend Googling master number 33 or angel number 33 if this reading is, especially if this reading is resonating with you. Okay, so let's see what spirit's message is in reference to horse spirit number 33. Okay, so horse spirit. It says, when horse spirit appears, you are gifted with the spirit of movement and freedom. It is a time for travel and adventure, whether there means a trip somewhere or taking a different type, whether this means a trip somewhere or taking a different type of journey, one of freedom of choice. Horse spirit reminds you that no matter the circumstances, you have free will and choices that can take you far away to, better, to a better place, a better situation, a better state of being. And there is no one but you to rein in your will to make a different decision. You are capable of making powerful choices that will affect you for a long time to come. Horses are social animals and known to be, friend to be a friend to mankind, willing to carry us forward when we need help. Horse spirit reminds you that help will be available to you whenever you need it. And compassions will be by your side and companions <laughs> will be by your side whenever you choose to let go, whatever direction you choose to travel. Life is an adventure and horse spirit wants you to know that whatever choices you make, you have great spirit within, invisible yet holding you up and always walking by your side. If your inquiry is about a relationship, you can set your heart free to experience love in all forms. Spirit whispers to you that the gift of freedom is yours if you allow yourself to break out of the perfection and stubbornness. Make a move and enjoy the freedom of letting go of what you need to control. All right. That was an interesting message here. So what Spirit is saying is, you know, you have to let go. That You're the one who's in control. And if you're willing to let go, you know, you're able to create and manifest anything that you want and you'll be successful with that all right but you have to let go in order to be free okay so let go of holding on to this situation that's no longer good for you you know this is what you're doing you're holding on to it in your head so spirit is advising you to let go let go leo all right let's get you spirit of message spirit of love messages and see what messages Spirit has for you in reference to these cards. So I'm going to do three, and then we'll be all set. So it says, put away the computer. Working hard and having more fun will help strengthen your relationship. So for some of you, um, I'm assuming that um, maybe perhaps some of you are considering getting back together with this person. Maybe you're going to work things out. 
Uh, if so, there's more attention that's needed to the relationship itself. You guys should spend more time connecting with one another. All right. You have to add more balance to the relationship and have more fun so that it strengthens the connection. All right. That's for some of you. Not all. Let's see what else we got. Strictly sexual. The connection is passionate but not enduring. So for some of you, this is um, a situation where, you know, you may have been with someone. It was a long one night stand. It was stand, a one night stand that lasted years for some of you. Um, and the only thing that really kept the connection between you two was the sex. Um, so unfortunately, you know, well, fortunately for you, you've come to the conclusion that it's time for you to move on because that would be the best thing for you in this scenario. And so... As a result, you know, you're accepting the fact that this is what this was, all right? And so Spirit is just reiterating to you that, yes, go ahead, move forward with this situation, leave it in the past. It was nothing more than a sexual connection. All right, so let's see. We got one more that we'll pull. We have release. It says radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So for some of you, you're having a hard time letting go of this relationship for some reason, shape, or form. It could very well be because it's a past life connection that you had with this person. We did have the four of wands here. So it could very well be someone that you connected with in a past life, a previous soulmate. All right. But you do have to let this situation go. As some of you, it's very difficult for you to do so, which is why we have the overall energy here of the uh, nine of swords. All right, you being in your head about the situation. We also have the Nine of Swords showing up again here within the reading. You know, of course, you wanting this to move quickly. So this is what you're in your head about for some of you. And then you'll be able to release the situation once you hear back from the courts. Some of you who don't have a court situation going on, you know, it would be best for you to figure out the best way you could, you know, in reference to releasing this. And Spirit is saying that you have the tools to manifest whatever it is that you want in your life. So you are able to move forward. You just have to put your head to it. Okay? And accept things for what they are. All right. So Leo, please let me know if this resonated with you um, by clicking on the like button. If you would like to leave a comment, I would love to read it. Um, so I do want to thank you guys for tuning in. And I will see you for your next weekly. Peace out, Leo.